Hey guys, welcome to virtual class number six. I hope you guys are having as much fun training in these virtual classes as I'm having in making them. Today, I wanna go over lightness. Now, oftentimes as a martial artist, we can be thought of as brutes because we're always thinking in terms of like nice, strong, hard kicks or punches. But today, I wanna to focus on a more elegant lightness through our footwork because a martial artist is not only strong, but flexible and fast. But as we practice this lightness, guys, I want you to think of other ways that you could be light instead of hard outside of martial arts practice. Perhaps instead of being strong and fighting over something with your brother, your sister, your mom, or your dad, you can take a second and be light about it. Sometimes giving in to what someone else's wants or, or what, what their suggestions are is the quickest way to get what you want. Perhaps arguing over a toy or a game or some sort of article of clothing. Take a path of lightness and realize that even though you might think that something is unfair, it's not permanent. And if you're patient, you'll always get what you want eventually. All right, guys, enough of that. Let's get started. Ha-bam! Push-ups are all the way down and all the way up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Spin that around. Let's get our sit-ups. Sit-ups are all the way down and all the way up as well. My count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, legs straight. Light bounce at the knees. Let's get that stretch on. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ankles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straddle. Get that big reach. Hit that center first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stand it up. All right, left hand straight to the sky. Pulls across the body, hooks under and pulls. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same hand, same sky goes behind the head and pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side goes to the sky and pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same hand, same sky goes behind the head and pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's see that fighting stance. Surprise, guys, today like last time, we are going to be doing shadow boxing just a little bit differently. I want to add a layer of footwork to shadow boxing today. So today, even while you're waiting in between reps, you're going to do the white belt piece of footwork known as the rocker shuffle. This is gonna keep you light on your feet and easy to bounce in and bounce out in between combinations and stuff like that, okay? And that's gonna be very important for the game that we're going to be playing today because we want you to be light on your feet. So start your rocker shuffle now as we go through our shadow boxing curriculum. All right, guys, as was just said, get started on that rocker shuffle. Hands are up, bouncing on your toes. I don't want those heels to touch the ground today. We've got our first layer of moves right here. We throw that rocker shuffle, we hit, and then we go right back to that rocker shuffle. We're not getting off of our toes today for this section. My count, ready? One, two, Three, purple belts, just keep bouncing in shadow box. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good job. Moving on to our second move in the curriculum list is right there. It is okay to stop that shuffle, to throw that punch, and then bring it back. But in between everything, we need to be on our toes. Second move, my count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep that shadow boxing going because we're moving on to that third move. List is right there behind me. Boom, throw it and then come back in. Boom, throw it and then come back in. My count ready. One, two. Keep that shadow boxing on your toes. The backs or bottoms of your feet shouldn't be hitting. Three, four. job. All right, moving on to our first kick, our rear leg. We have our rocker shuffle right here. Boom! Throw that kick, whatever it might be, and then right back to rocker shuffle. My count. Ready? One. Two. Job, same move with the lead leg. Depending on what you're going here, you can go through that step through and hit. That's what we're looking to do. We rock or shuffle, 
step through, and then throw that kick, whatever it might be. My count, ready? One. job all right rocker shuffle even while i'm talking right now we hit that rocker shuffle going back to that rear leg boom whatever your move is then back to that rock, rocker shuffle boom back to that rocker shuffle let's see it my count one two from your tennis ball. Nine. And ten. Good job. All right. Now we're starting to feel a little bit tired, right? We're in the middle here. We're going on to our lead leg. It's on the list right there. Lead leg goes really fast. Boom. And then back to that rocker shuffle. My count. Ready? One. Two. Good job, young princesses. One minute and a half break to get a drink or whatever you need. Okay, did we have a good break? Perfect. All right, guys. So the reason for Rocker Shuffle is that we want to get you as light and bouncy as possible. The problem is that when we have our heel on the floor, it takes an extra step to move anywhere. Think about it. If you're walking, you need to put your heel down flat foot and then raise your heel before you can go anywhere. Rocker Shuffle hopes to eliminate that middleman. By staying on your toes, you are faster lighter, and best of all, you don't telegraph your kicks, which is gonna be very important if you ever need to use this for a self-defense situation or for sparks. 
So here's what we're going to do. You're going to choose between combination number one or combination number two, and you're going to drill that. But what I want to see here is a focus on that rocker's shuffle footwork. So I want you to be light and bouncy, light and bouncy, move around like a like Bruce Lee or Muhammad Ali. Here's some video references for you guys if you don't know who those are. But yes, want you to start bouncing around, start being lighter, and see if you can tap those combinations out between combination one or two, and tap them out as quickly and as lightly as possible. Let's get started. Choose between combination number one or two. Three minutes, go! Now guys, these combinations should feel a little more light and airy, almost like a, like a dance move that you might see. And that's because we're drawing up energy from the ground through this bounce and snapping those kicks out like more professional. These kicks shouldn't feel hard. Um, they shouldn't feel like you're kicking one of the heavy bags in class. Uh, they should definitely feel a lot more light and a lot more airy. Now guys, with this, we're going to move on to your next combinations, you get to choose between combination two, or excuse me, no, 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 you get to choose between combination three and combination four. So combination three and four, it's your choice which one you want to do, which one you want to work on. When choosing, I recommend choosing the combination that you like the least, because it's those combinations that you typically need a little bit more work on. But again, this is for, this is gonna involve a little bit of freedom so you guys have that ability. I want you to stay light and bouncy throughout this entire process. And then in between every combination, you're just bouncing up and down with this rocker shuffle. 
Let's see it. Three, two, one, a go. <laughs> Okay guys, for this last round, I want you guys to do what is called free form shadow boxing. What free form shadow boxing is, is basically you get the ability to do whatever you want when you want to do it. This is gonna be another three minute round just as we did before. And much like you see the purple belts, how they have upper body shadow boxing during our regular shadow boxing class, you guys are gonna be doing the same thing except for now you can add in kicks. So here's a little bit of a vi vi visual reference um, of me doing it. And I'm just making things up as I go along. But notice how in this video, I am putting a little bit more emphasis on that rocker shuffle footwork. I wanna make sure that I'm bouncy, that I'm light and airy, just like we've been working on this whole time. So again, this is called a free form shadow boxing, which is in comparison to what you usually do, which we call structured shadow boxing. This allows you to get more free. This allows you to explore what your favorite moves are. Um, some of you have more moves than others, and that's okay. That free form shadowing expands as you learn more and more. And if you can, ask mom and dad to film this freeform shadow boxing. I would love for them to film it on their phone, send it over to me so I can take a candor at it and see how you guys are coming along at home. Let's get ready. Three minutes, freeform shadow boxing, and go! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
how you're feeling. A little bit of a tingle in your calves, which are the muscles right above your feet, right? As you get better and better, you condition those calves to where it's easier for you to do motions like this. But conditioning only happens when you work it. That's a lot of the problem we see in students, whether they be children or whether they be adults. They think that they can do something without actually practicing it when martial arts actually comes with a level of conditioning as well. You should feel tired. You should feel a little sweaty. You should feel hot because that's how you know you're getting better, you're getting stronger, and your calves are getting stronger. And once they're strong, you could do this all day. All right, guys, let's move on to the game. All right, guys, today I want to play a game I like to call the Virtual Fighter. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. My gloves are on, I'm ready to go. I'm going to punch at the camera. Every time I punch at the camera, I want you to evade that punch. That means you can either step slide advance, step back in, rocker shuffle out, rocker shuffle back in. For my higher belts who actually have defenses to these moves, I want you to use the defenses in your curriculum. What that means is, if you see me swing here, you need to bob and weave. Whereas this, the white belts can come out and come back in, okay? I'm gonna go slow enough at first, and then we're going to get started. Get ready in three, two, one, go. Good, only move when you see my punch coming. Get out of the way whenever you see this punch coming. Higher belts, you should know the different blocks between straight punches, like a jab and a cross, and how to evade large hooking motions. All I want you to do is evade for this round. Doesn't matter what I do, as you see that punch come, Get out of the way, and then come back in. No other movements. Get out of the way, and come back in. Double cover, right? Or you can need to move for these straight punches if you don't recall. Want to see a good bob and weave. Yellow belts, you have a duck move. You can duck under those punches if you want as well. White belts, step slide retreat. They can also rock or shuffle retreat. Good, these are the only four moves that I'm going to throw. And time. Good job, guys. How many times did you get hit? Were you fast enough to move out of the way? Well, you better hope you were because we're moving on to round two now, and round two is going to get a little bit faster. All right, young apprentices, welcome to round two of Virtual Fighter. Round two of Virtual Fighter is just a little bit different. I'm going to speed up my movements, make it just a tad bit more difficult for you, but on top of that, I want you to return a movement right back at me. What does that mean? It means instead of just moving out of the way, bobbing, weaving, or slipping, what I want you guys to do is not only do that, but come back with any punch or kick that you like. Doesn't matter which one it is, any punch or kick will do. Your hands are up the entire time, and you come in, boom, you get out of the way of that, and then you come back and punch me with something. So if I swing, you evade, and then you come back and punch me with something. You guys ready? Round two, fight! That's what I wanna see. That's what 
I want to see. Get out and get back in. Sure. Welcome to round three of Virtual Fighter. This is going to be the hardest star round yet. Think of it as our expert round. Not only am I going to go fast, but I'm also going to add in feints. What I want you guys to do is hands up in that rocker shuffle the whole round. Don't go easy on me that whole round. I want you to evade just as we did before and then come back with two returns. It could be a jab cross. It could be a a jab round kick it doesn't matter but I want two back and then you guys light on your feet it's gonna be a little bit exhausting but that's okay that's what I want to see I'm going to be tripping you up and going real fast with these are you guys ready I hope so let's see who wins this round in three two one go that rocker shuffle up boom come back with two hits come back with two hits boom good you should always be rocker shuffling always be rocker shuffling boom come back with two hits higher belts you should be doing the appropriate moves Whoa. bob and weave for the for the junk for the giant hooks Double cover, peekaboo, slips, for the jab cross. Come back with two moves, then right back to rocker shuffle. I want to see that bounce. Get that bounce in on your toes. Good job, guys. End of round three. 
Now, guys, there wasn't a huge difference in the actual rules or the forms between round two and round three. But if you guys notice, you were a lot lighter. You were able to bounce around and react more quickly to the punches that I was throwing when you guys were bouncing on your feet doing that rocker shuffle. As opposed to round two, where you were most likely concentrating on where the punch is coming from. You were concentrating on, uh, well, you weren't concentrating on your footwork. You were being flat-footed, most likely. I can't see all of you. But if we're bouncing around on our feet, all of a sudden, we're a lot more what is called tactile, and we are a lot more responsive. So we can move out of the way of things quickly and attack in return more quickly. And that's the beauty of that rocker shuffle footwork. It's an amazing piece of footwork that you learn in white belt and you're going to be using all the way to black belt. Good job today, guys. Let's end class up. All right, guys, line it up. Good class today. This ends virtual class number six, I think it is. Virtual class number six. Um, very good job. Uh, that footwork is going to be a little bit tiresome for you, especially if you were working hard. Make sure you stretch out those calves. They will be a little sore tomorrow, but that's okay. We're not getting a lot of physical exercise right now anyways. Now guys, our virtual privates can be booked for this coming Friday. We're doing 10 to 20 minutes worth of virtual privates. I would love to work with each one of you individually, but we're only doing them on Friday. So the earliest people that come in get the most convenient times to them. So make sure you let mom or dad know that they need to email me or text me or call me. I don't care what it is. I definitely want to see you guys. I want to virtually high five you one on one and also help you guys uh, tweak a few things that you might be doing incorrectly uh, or need to get better at on a personal level. Good job today, guys. Tension. Back. Class dismissed virtual high fives. Boom, 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 boom. Flames. Bam, 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 bam. Good job, guys. Hope to see you Friday for our virtual privates.